and I also helped run the graphic design degree. Um, I came to my first meetup um, with Belinda and quite a lot of other familiar faces I see around about six months ago at Portreath, um, born out of following what Launchpad were doing on the upstairs and also what was happening to the digital media degree, uh, which I know James and I are going to talk about afterwards as well. Um, knowing that as a, there was a growing sector in Cornwall um, within the software sector, but in terms of digital innovation, and it was getting quite exciting as to what was actually happening. And so I thought, I'll pop along, see what was going on, who else was there, bring some clients along with me as well to introduce some folk, and actually see who you all are, basically. Because nobody else seems to really know what's going on. It's kind of this underground kind of movement of uh, software, tech industry, that... Um, Sorry, I'm just getting back to the me. agenda that you changed. Can you, can you give me a, yeah, a nice sort of robotic thing? Yeah. Um, and it was so. It was a. It was born, coming to the first meetup was born out of an intrigue, and also in terms of where the digital media course had um, has um, effectively you know, steal your thunder had um, been canned. Yeah. So the highest growth sector in the UK that's helping the uh, the UK economy come out of a recession has just been ditched. So that didn't seem like a very wise idea. And then with a growing games industry, a growing software sector, a tech um, sector, as to actually, can we rewrite that curriculum and think about it? So it was born out of that. It was born out of finding out who the hell you guys are and what really exists, because uh, there was like chitter chatter about it all. So from that meeting, it was, it was really interesting to see the, the diversity of people who are here, but also how everybody collaborates. But it was also, um, clear in terms of the field that I'm in, that the stories that were being told individually within that space when we started chatting were amazing, absolutely amazing stories, global stories, national stories, local stories, <coughs> and, um, and none of it involved the university. So it wasn't found you know, outside of the launchpad. So he's thinking, okay, how do we get involved? How do we get involved? How can we help? How can we, A, one of the biggest problems, recruitment, growing talent, so on and so forth, how do we kind of nudge the uni to kind of think, Secondly, about um, the digital media course, how do we rewrite it, how do we repitch it? Um, but also, how can we be used as a platform to help grow the economy for Cornwall? And, you know, tourism, we know, pretty strong sector, but outside of that, it has this pretty dry. And <coughs> so, first part of the thing that I'm going to talk about, James and Al are going to talk about the digital media course, is um, through the graphic design course, we are currently running a uh, project, which is to promote Cornwall, excuse the terminology, it needs fixing, as the UK Silicon Valley. Okay? Now we know there's baggage with the words, we'll fix that bit, um, but it's an intriguing project, born out of all the stories that you guys were saying, but how you market your own business. So what if they all came together under one roof and promoted Cornwall as a digital heartland for the UK? Yeah? So. That brief is now was launched yesterday, but it also needs input from you guys. Now, on the on the, my lovely sheets of archaic paper, um, there's a Flipboard magazine link, in, uh, which links to some of your businesses which are here for the students to research who you are, what the sector actually is, what does it mean, what's the terminology, what's the language that we need to use. There's lots of issues where you've got so many different areas of digital innovation. Uh, what's the right um, collection of words? What's the right tone of voice? And can we create an umbrella for this, you guys, and the other wider um, companies that are out there? Um, it's also interesting seeing the Tech City emails coming out, um, because I know that I brought clients with me who didn't know this existed until I spoke about it. And I have a funny feeling there's probably another 100 plus companies out there who are doing their thing quietly, getting on with it. And I'm not quite sure why when we moved to Cornwall, when we moved back to Cornwall, that it's kind of like quite happy to just do things and not talk about it. You know? <laughs> Sitting in the pub, never talk about what you're doing in your work. And that's kind of a mentality that sits around Cornwall. Not always, but it's quite prevalent. And so I'm intrigued about a two-fold process with this brief that the design students are working with and next year the advertising students will be working with, which is A, find everybody. You know, what's the communication to find you all? And B, how do you create some umbrella <coughs> brand to actually promote you as a sector to encourage business itself, recruitment, and other factors. So, advice, 
greatly received. And in terms of my email address, it's darren.whittington at falmouth.ac.uk. So if anybody has any wonderful ideas or can spare an hour, half an hour of your time on the, sec on the 10th of November at 1.30, it's Tuesday specifically, the design students are gathering together in their groups, the different groups that are running, and they would love to have your advice as to what is actually out there, who you are, what's actually going on. Does that kind of make a little bit of sense? Okay, cool. Um, so I'm going to hand out, so that's, that's the, the basis of the brief that's actually running. The, back, the other side of this is, so what's your, what, what job do you have at uni? Just so I know what I can say. Professor of Digital Games Technology. Excellent. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go off quick. Um, um, so it was interesting in the first meetup where we were talking about Corn College is doing quite a lot with you guys, and I was, and I was astonished that Falmouth was not doing it. And we had a discussion about can we get, and we were talking about agile stuff that was going, can we get some funding and nudging quite heavily. And um, I can see a way of making it work that in in January when the students are presenting their work and for assessment. After that, hopefully the work will be amazing. But um, we can actually create some sort of event where we can invite everybody to come in, see the work that's been happening, some press work, invite the people, the powers and of a bee, and, um, and maybe some funding bodies too, to actually say, okay, this is a hypothetical situation, but it's only a step change to make it real. Yeah? And I think then we can sort of force a little situation that can start to happen. So it's all hypothetical, um, but actually it can quite easily become real and create a vehicle. So any initial kind of questions or sort of despair? <laughs> would be fantastic. So, and what we'll do is one of the tables when we when everybody's had done their little um, intros that will break out into tables. So I've kind of put sticky notes. So that one's going to be um, we'll we'll have like. Um, a breakout discussion, so you can throw in ideas for that. Um. Yeah. So this that I'm handing out now is um, is paper. <laughs> Enjoy that. I smell it. It's a beautiful thing, tangible, um, ergonomically designed, and uh, it's a draft brief that's out there at the moment. Um, so digest it, hate it, question it, give me some feedback. That would be absolutely fantastic. And um, if anybody would like to be a part of that Tuesday the 10th at 1.30 specifically and have a lovely cup of tea and um, some biscuits, <laughs> jaffa cakes, then um, everyone's more than welcome because the students would love to hear from you. And also it gives us an opportunity to create another story that you like so much. <laughs> well, what we can do, okay. we, should we put it up on the yeah. we'll formal digital I will. group as an event? Um, and I'll put it up on the website as well. Um, um, and we'll put up my email address, so oh, yeah. thank you. Cheers. Um, if anybody's got any thoughts or questions um, or would like to get involved, then please just do email me and that would, um, or email me if we're on LinkedIn. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be yeah. Okay. Thank you, brilliant. Um, so, um, yeah, one of the, yeah, we'll um, so